The Cosworth name is well known in motorsport. Its engines rank second only to Ferrari in number of Formula One Grand Prix wins, and a generation of petrol heads worshipped the Ford Sierra Cosworth. It's not so well known that Cosworth is a company that has had to adapt to survive. Recently, it's been on a remarkable ride. In 2006, Cosworth faced a series of turbulent events. First, Ford sold Cosworth as part of its withdrawal from elite motorsport. Then, Cosworth was forced out of Formula One as the major automotive makers sought to dominate the sport at any cost. It was a very lonely flight back from Detroit when we'd heard the news in the first place and certainly the question I had was how do I uh, give this information to the workforce in a form which is going to ensure that they believe that there is a future that they can commit to. And we settled down and said what is it that we are? What are the competencies that we have? What are the assets that we have that we happen to deploy into making motor racing engines? And then where are the markets that have need for our particular skills and competencies. Cosworth quickly identified the following strengths. High precision engineering, excellent manufacturing, value for money, and speed. Its winning bid for a contract to supply the US Navy with diesel-powered unmanned aerial vehicle engines highlights how a positive approach works. It's very easy to talk about what you're about to do but it's far more compelling to show what you've actually done. Many of our competitors went in with absolutely fabulous PowerPoint presentations and great visual support. We didn't do any of that. We went in with our engine instead. And uh, the effect that it had was electric. A lot of the assessing panels obviously came from an engineering background and the fact that we had something that we quite literally put on the table in front of them, um, they found completely captivating. Cosworth has made the most of synergies. In Northampton, it already forges its own pistons for motorsport. Today, it uses the same equipment to produce pistons for the aviation industry. In Cambridge, Cosworth Electronics has a track record in developing technology that measures the performance of racing cars. This expertise is now working on solutions for other industries. We've got a project running with three different clients who are all trying to break the 50 knot barrier with respect to sail power. We've taken a, effectively a top motorsport product, modified it to make sure it's waterproof, and used the same sort of principles of trying to enable the customer to understand the engineering aspects of the project so that they can actually design the boat to go quicker in the water. Cosworth's brand still inspires confidence in the automotive industry. Luxury sports car maker Aston Martin asked Cosworth to produce a lighter and more powerful engine for a new supercar. The Aston Martin 177 will have a price tag of £1 million and only 77 will be produced. The brief that we gave to them which was create uh, the ultimate Aston V12 engine and by the way this is how it needs to fit into the car so it needs to be low it needs to be dry sumped, it needs to have this kind of power, it needs to weigh a lot less than the current V12. Um, and having given the guys that brief, they came back with more than the brief, which is always great when you talk to any supplier. Um, it was more ideas, what if we do it this way, what if we do it that way? And so we can start bouncing ideas off between uh, our programme team and Cosworth to come up with what I think is one of the, the best engines you'll ever see. Cosworth became successful by producing fast engines. It is speed which underpins success today. It moved quickly to reposition itself as a supplier of performance technologies to a range of markets that include aerospace, defence, marine, automotive and energy generation. It developed a global reach. Today it has facilities in the UK and North America and a new facility has been opened in India. And it's got an eye on the future. I believe there is a perception that a lot of green technologies in some way are good for you, but they're also hard work. They're like going on a diet. It might be good for you, but you don't enjoy it. I believe that that perception is misplaced, and I think we have an opportunity in the sort of work that we do to demonstrate that there are solutions which are green in the widest sense, but they can be fun as well. Cosworth's remarkable ride continues. In 2010, 
it's back in Formula One. Cosworth is now really a very diverse engineering group, but of course in its DNA you have this Formula One heritage and the return to Formula One in 2010 is a very exciting step for the company. It's probably very appropriate that Cosworth's return to Formula One is coming with a, a new set of teams, teams that are going to be new to Formula One. The fact that Cosworth provides very competitive engineering solutions and very competitive engines for Formula One in this case at a price which frankly I think the major car manufacturers would struggle to, to match make Cosworth very attractive. So this new era for Formula One is perfect for Cosworth and it's certainly one that uh, I think will be very successful for it.